True love includes the animals. Now, how can I make such a bold statement? Well, God's greatest commandment is that we love him you know, with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our might. And with every part of it, we look at that word strength or might. In the Hebrew, it means with everything we have. That's our strength in, in uh, physical power, our strength in uh, financial power, our strength in anything else. So everything that we are, we're to love God. And if that's the way we love God, then we have to love the whole of his creation, which includes not only the animals, but every other human being and the environment in which we live. So to love the animals is part of being, in my opinion, of being a true Christian. Now, we can still say we're a Christian. We can still believe, but we're not a, a, a truly practicing one. We're not one who lives in God's heavenly will. And we may, you know, pick and choose, but it's not that having that nature where we are trying to be one with God and, and allow ourselves to listen to Holy Spirit and follow along with what he wants us to do. And when we do, we find out that all of this hatred that's in the world, uh, this fear, it disappears. I mean, yes, there's things. I mean, it doesn't mean you can walk out in front of a car and not fear getting hurt. I mean, that, that is the kind of things that get into the realm of stupidity. But it means that if we truly live in God's heavenly will, we're not going to worry about if, if some person who doesn't think that way shoots off an atomic weapon. We're not going to sit and shudder because there's something that could go wrong. We're not going to worry about things that haven't happened. Uh, as, as we're also told, you know, don't worry about what you're going to do. You know, the world will take care of itself. Every day takes care of itself. There's enough to do without worrying about something. And loving is the same thing. In fact, it should be even more central to us. We should see another person, another animal, uh, the environment, and just, uh, I love that. That's all part of God. That's all part of the way we're to be. We're to enjoy it. We're to have joy and happiness. And that's also a blessing. So we're to love the animals. And that doesn't mean that you have to be, you know, personal friends with every one of them. But it means, yeah, I love that squirrel, that, you know, that runs up and down the trees and, you know, I, I see him gathering nuts, those kind of things. It's that, it's that love that you feel, and, you know, and, and no sense of wanting to hurt or, or, or anything else. It's just pure love. And if you felt it, wonderful. Amen.